This is Vision Science's technique video guide for transnasal esophagoscopy. The following terms are used in this instructional video. The following video focuses on the techniques commonly used for successful transnasal endoscopy. Transnasal esophagoscopy is currently being performed in multiple specialties in both clinical and office environments. The TNE 5000 may be used for endoscopic examinations of the larynx, esophagus, GE junction, and the upper cardia portion of the stomach. Proper instrument preparation and scope handling are key elements to the success of this procedure. The following steps will be covered in this video. Physician-patient positioning, procedure techniques and anatomy landmarks, and patient preparation. Patient preparation. Patients are typically advised to have nothing to eat for two to three hours prior to the procedure. The following are some commonly used techniques used to decongest and numb the nose prior to the procedure. Failure to correctly prepare the nose can result in patient discomfort. Patient's nasal preparation typically consists of a 4% Afrin lidocaine mixture used in either a standard spray bottle or atomizer. The patient's nose should be sprayed at least 10 to 15 minutes before the procedure. After spraying the nose, identify the preferred nostril. Typically, the best nostril to use would be the one that is clear and quiet when the patient breathes through it. Physician-patient positioning. Improper positioning may lead to patient discomfort and difficulty passing the endoscope. Typically, the patient is sitting upright with his or her chin forward. The patient may want to place their hands on their knees to help maintain positioning. The physician will typically stand with the monitor to the left and the patient to the right. The endoscope is typically held in the left hand to assure easy access to the biopsy port and simplified positioning for the physician. Procedure Technique Procedure technique and endoscope handling are critical in performing a successful TNE. Proper technique allows the endoscope to stay low along the floor of the nasal cavity. Use the right hand to advance the scope. It is important to maintain a low position while traveling through the nasal cavity to avoid patient discomfort. Avoid torque or twisting of the insertion tube with the right hand. Twisting of the insertion tube with the right hand could result in disorientation and patient discomfort. Left-right movement can be achieved by gently rotating the control body with the left hand and deflecting the angulation lever when needed. You will then visualize the epiglottis and vocal cords. Continue to slowly advance the endoscope taking precaution to avoid hitting the epiglottis or vocal cords with the endoscope. Doing so may cause patient discomfort. Patients are typically asked to swallow water through a straw. During the swallow, the endoscope can be advanced into the esophagus. Advance the endoscope through the esophagus towards the GE junction. To insufflate the esophagus for better viewing, Slowly tap the air button when needed. Be patient and do not overutilize the air insufflation. Too much air can produce patient discomfort. To advance the endoscope through the GE junction, have the patient swallow and follow the peristaltic opening. The endoscope can be advanced to view the cardia portion of the stomach. Use the down deflection to view a retroflexed view of the GE junction. When the exam is complete, slowly but steadily withdraw the scope from the patient. During removal, ensure the endoscope does not come in contact with the vocal cords or epiglottis and does not rest on the cricoid pharynx area. Music